So here we go, the second game of the morning here in Manchester. And it's CSSC Touch London against Wigan Warriors. I'm delighted to say I'm joined by Hannah Crisp from the Bareback Riders. And a good start to the morning. Yeah, no, it's good. 12 9 up, so it's a nice win to start the day. Can't, can't complain. Rain I'm stayed off. The positives. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to be back out there? Are you happy to uh, get going once again? Yeah, it feels like it's been ages. It's been a good six weeks since the World Cup finished, so I, I didn't play the first one. I was still away travelling. But um, yeah, no, it's, it's really good to be back. Good to be back with BBRs. Yeah, and here we go. Wigan looking to get things underway on this near side, trying to get this opening try. Just stopped before the line and a turnover possession. CSSC London. Well, they made the Elite Cup final in the opening round in Banbury up against BBR. And a stand in second place in the standings, looking to cross over the halfway line. Colin Scott in the middle of things for CSSC, coming to break forward. And building up ahead of steam. This is really nice build up play from CSC. Can they get the opening try and a nice dive towards the touch? Yeah, lovely. Nice and low. It's close to the ground. Helps that it's been raining the last few days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not stopped raining all week. I, I've, I think I've only seen blue sky once <laughs> all week. And it was a good dive towards the touchline. And CSSC London are underway. And it's a cracking start for the Londoners as they get things. The opening try of this second game. And Pobble in the middle of things now. And Maybe Pennington as well. A few names that we didn't see in the opening round for Wigan. Yeah, Pennington just in the middle, slowing things down. Yeah, yeah, trying to burst their way forward. A nice dive. And just opening things up there, CSSC, and they're back level. Yeah, we're going dive for dive here. <laughs> okay, getting nice and low as well. One of these. Nice step there. Yeah, it was. It was number eight for... Wigan Warriors, Gabriel Pennington, we didn't see in Banbury, and getting off the mark. And Hannah, well, of course, you weren't with us in Banbury, of course, but I asked everyone who was in our studio in Banbury, how was the World Cup? How much did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was great. It's always a good event. Every four years, you have to wait a long time until it comes <laughs> yeah. back round. But it was, I mean, I think everyone's probably spoken about the heat. Yes, it was <laughs> a big talking from. point, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was good though, it's, it's not something you're used to in the UK, but you know, <laughs> you make do. Everyone's in the same position, so. How did you feel your performances were out there? How, how did you assess your own game whilst you're in Malaysia? Um, as a team, we kind of underperformed, which is a bit disappointing. Um, as I said, it only comes around four, every four years, but it was a good experience. We had quite a young team, so uh, yeah, you build from there, you come back for Euros next year. It'll be exciting. Yeah, it certainly will be. Yeah, it's to see women looking to get back in front once again. Andrew Dyer uh, over on that far side looking to Stratford in the middle looking left and right laying the ball off and now with Dyer once again switching it from middle over to that far side and the turnover in possession and looking to start from the back once again and building up once again looking to go through the middle it's a intensity game you know, very quick these games. I think a lot of quite a lot of World Cup players on the field at the moment. And you know, coming back from a World Cup, you're playing at 100 miles an hour. That doesn't stop when you come home. Certainly does. A flying forward and looking to go through the middle. Ben Meakin, who we did see in Banbury, who's in the commentary box with us for one of the games. Good yeah. chat from him. Yeah, he's, he's uh, up he's in his game. Yeah, <laughs> certainly. Yeah, he was. He was always oh, very entertaining to have in the commentary <laughs> box. Throughout the weekend, he popped by a couple of times as CCSE London looking to come forward once again over the 10 metre, looking to come forward, and starting off nicely. And just a opportunity now missed. Missing, yeah. and just under the five minute mark, still one apiece. It's a quick game. It is four minutes in as well, it's end to end, but quite a few scores for four and a half minutes for a touch game. But they're both doing really well, defending and attacking really well. So You've got to push yourself to the wire here. Get some pace on the wall. Yeah, George Price in the middle there. And looking to come forward. Ben Meeking with his black cap on. Just humbled at the last second. 
And then the turnover possession for CSSC London. And in their own half, looking to build up once again. But yeah, very few tries in this opening five minutes. Tight defensively, both sides. Nearly halfway, looking to come forward, isn't it? Start again. CCC London in the Wigan half. He's with Stratford. Oh, the dummy. To come dummy. Sold. <laughs> oh, what a try. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the confirmation, and it certainly is Harry Stratford. Let's have another look at this on the replay. That's a lovely dummy. Sold there. <laughs> Good dive, though, from Bobby. He did try to get it back. Not quite. Yeah, almost fingernails away from getting that touch, but. Lovely play from Henry Stratford going through the middle. And we are back in front for CSSC London. And Wigan looking to respond straight away. And looking to go with Pennington. Lays it off back with Pennington through the middle. Can he dive oh, forward? Dive. What a touch. Lovely, Gabe. Oh, just wanting a debate. Bennington diving for the line with his left hand. And the referee gives it, and we're back square. Two all, this is end to end stuff. It certainly is, it's entertaining. <laughs> As was the first game. And if you were delighted with the opening win, getting, uh, getting the points on the board? I didn't, no, not this time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if we change that, I don't want to be doing a nudie run at the end of the day. Well, end of the weekend, I should say. Um, no, it was a good first game. Exeter run hard, a really fast team, good skills. Um, but no, it was, it was a, a, a tight game. Um, yeah, good way to start the weekend. Oh my. Goodness me, Dyer looking to go forward and they're back in front. CSSC London and it Dyer just selling the dummy once again, looking to go to that left. And it was a simple dummy and just burst through. Easy as that. Yeah, dummies and dives. <laughs> Main sure of the game here. Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, Andrew Dyer getting on the score sheets in the first half and what is another close and exciting game. And restarts. And looking to come forward once again. Robert Taylor. And Taylor gets it back once again from Price. And now Price again. Laying it off with Meakin and just looking for that run of Robert Taylor just before the try line. Got another shot at Ben Meakin, just so, such an experienced player. Yeah, he's got a lot of caps under his belt. Um, he was out with injury for a lot of last year, but he's come back really strong this year and you can see the improvement in his game. He's doing really well. Yep. Oh, he said he was. He was frustrated, of course, with the injuries and, mm. and now he just feels like he's just... He was like back itching to game. get back into, <laughs> <laughs> back, getting to back into it. It's good to come back for a World Cup as well. <laughs> there are worse places to, st to start, to start right now. <laughs> yeah, I could think of worse. And New uh, team for him this year as well. So of course, yeah, from the Nottingham Hoods, I believe. Yep, it, absolutely, can, yeah, absolutely, yeah. He's been fitting in well. It seems like he's not struggled to find his place in the team, which is nice to see. Yeah, he was talking to us, uh, obviously, in the first round of the Bambri, just was looking forward to getting underway of his new side and oh was yeah. happy to at least pick up something obviously in Banbury I'm sure they'd have liked to have got to the Elite Cup final but, yeah. they, but they took home the plate yeah. um, but they were I think they were just happy in the end just to get just to go take away something from yeah. the weekend so it was nice to get some silverware yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and as we're approaching the 10 minute mark in the first half close game only one point in it CSSC London just slowing things down yeah what do you think your dummy or dive I'm going to go for a... Neither. Neither. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say a dive as he just looked to just go forward. but I know. I think if he'd backed himself then he might have been through. <laughs> it was Tom Hall just looking to go forward. And looking to go oh. through the middle. We've had quite a few slips and trips there. The grass is still pretty wet. I think it's uh, soft underfoot. Yeah, I was about to say, what was the, what was the thoughts of the team oh, as dive. they go through? <laughs> There's the dive. On this occasion, it was Henry Stratford, and they get it this time, and that is the dive. Nice little layoff, just bursting through. 
the knees first, arc yourself out, dive. Uh, two point advantage is now built up for CSSC London. And I was just going to ask you, Hannah, just about the surface. How, is, how was it in the opening game? Obviously, with the weather we've had this week, I can't remember <laughs> seeing any sunshine yeah. for the past week. I know, it's been pretty grim, but <laughs> actually, it's not bad underfoot. It is soft, um, but no, it's, it's the decent fields. The grass is nice and short, it's flat. Um, Unstable, so yeah, I can't complain. It's a, a nice change to the hard surface <laughs> back in Malaysia where it'd been nothing but sunshine for probably six months. So, no, it, it's decent, yeah, not, not bad out there. Yeah, no. And it's dry. <laughs> yes, well, yeah, we no rain at the moment, although there is forecast for a bit of rain later on and a touch just before the, before the line on that occasion. That's two, two Pennington, Jordan Melling, just to the left of him. James Robertson just on that left side as Pennington looked to dive forward. Not quite. This guy got it. it. Oh, he yeah. did get it. And the referee who just was just, yeah, he was just debating for a second. And That's a very good dive from Gabe there. Nice and low, slide along the ground. Again, dummies and dives. It certainly is, using that surface just to mm. propel himself forward. And we're back to one point advantage for CSSC London. 11 and a half to go. 11 and a half gone, I should say, in this first half. And CSSC London looking to come forward over the 10 metre, looking to push forward towards that 5 metre. Building in the centre, Stratford was there waiting in the wings, and he picks it up now. Goes through the centre, and there's a touch just before. No, another dive. It is. Really good step back on the inside. Just caught caught George slightly off guard there, I think. Um, good dive of the right hand over the try line and that two-point advantage built up once again. And what is another really intriguing game? So yeah, the scores are coming thick and fast now. We've started a bit slow, but they've definitely picked the pace up here. It's good to see. Yeah, it was only one apiece after five minutes. And oh look, um, blink of an eye, it's 5-3. Now Melling laying it off to Taylor. Uh, Meekin looking to burst through, looking to go to his left and trying to find Hobson. Uh, good defensive work in the CSSC. Nice partnership on and off the field there. Yeah, looking to go over the That's a good play. drive there. They made a lot of yards on there, that touch there. Sure they did. And looking to eat up the yards as they now enter the Wigan half to go for driving forward this is nice build up play can they just go there saved that no shake no shake and then switch over back to BBR then Meekin just a <laughs> that, was the that was the last game <laughs> bit behind there Wigan of course now building up from the back and it's Robert Taylor just slowing things down, waiting for the substitutes to come on, which is uh, something you'll see throughout the day, just rolling subs, bringing fresh faces on in different parts of the game. Okay, it's good to see James Robinson back, resurrected. He's <laughs> been out of the game for a while, but it's nice to have him back. It really is, and he looks like he's full of running. <laughs> Robert looking to come through the centre. Oh, oh, just a slip from Pennington, <laughs> looking to try and build it from this oh, other side. What a touch! Can he get through? Oh, run the ball away the there. Not <laughs> see. <laughs> it was, uh, Phoebe J. To just dive forward. It was a really good take, actually. Yeah, it was. I think Gabe was in save mode there. Saver mode. Just tried to get the ball away. CSSC London looking to start again from the back over on that far side. Just laying things off. Oh, just a loose touch. And now it's back over to Wigan. And this is a really good opportunity for Wigan in the CSSC London half with six touches. Yeah, you'd like to think with the players they've got coming on here, this close from the line, this close to the line, sorry, they should be, should be looking at getting a score here, tightening it up again. Smelling. Ben Meeking. Smelling back again, back with Meeking. And look to that switch of play over to this near side and just not quite. It was Jennifer yeah. Jones who just couldn't run onto it. I don't think they quite had the subs on there. You saw Alice just appearing in shot. 
slightly too late there, but it's a good option. Yeah, and just saw that quick switch of play from Meeking out of nowhere onto this near side, and now CCSC London can build up once again. Good, quick play, looking strength. Eats up the yards over the halfway. Henry Stratford. Oh, now it's turnover in possession, and now a really good opportunity once again for Wigan. And Melling and Meeking linking up once again. Povel also involved just in the center and now with Ben Meeking. And just stepping back waiting for that touch but uh, did come that touch just off the touch line and now laying it off and now here comes Hobson. Just couldn't quite see over on that far side but it is a turnover in possession for CSSC London looking to come again. They're driving hard up that far side there, taking the ball at good yards every single touch. Jordan, make Making yards, Jordan, getting down. Dummy, oh, nearly. <laughs> and here they come through, Tom Hall. We saw a lot of him in Banbury. Linking up Tom Hall, looking to that far side, a really good take. Can she dive forward? Has she managed to just sneak her way through? In there, I think Jordan managed to make that. It was Rebecca Maxwell just diving for the line. And just a sneaky touch, and not on this occasion. So the gap still remains two points. And Meekin just picking it up now. Looking to try and come through the centre. Still in their own half. Here comes Hobson on the halfway line. Ben Meekin picking it up, having to go backwards. And now and Bobby linking up in the middle there. Driving nicely through the middle. Takes the ball at a good pace. Slightly too close to the line. Pulling it back out. Can we make on this one. Nice low dive. Oh, fantastic take. Lovely. There's a replay of my game. <laughs> well, after all that, we can get the try. So the one point gap now. CCSC London looking to come forward and can they get a try before the half time? Two and 20 seconds to go, looking to try and break forward. Dive earlier on that. We've been talking about it the whole time this game is <laughs> made on the dives. Go early and he's in. Andy Stratford looking to try and burst through. Last touch. He might have winded himself there. No, he just didn't. He <laughs> just took one to take a couple of seconds, didn't he? Yeah, just to <laughs> just to compose himself as he just comes off the field, hands on his knees. I don't know if that is, that's tired <laughs> or more winded. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the first half. So we've been in the thick of things so far in this first half. Blair Waddle just taking a few steps back, looking to her right. Andrew Dyer is there. And now trying to spread over things to the far side. Is the touch That's or is it a try? Great dive. Yes, yes she's in. Is. And the CCSC London restore that two point advantage. It was a good build up play once again. Yeah. And the two points advantage is regained. And Wigan look to come forward once again through the middle. Melling with Meekin. Jordan Melling gets it back. It's a good take from Robinson. And now looking to spread things over to that far side. It's a great take. Lovely dive from Joe there on the far wing. Another good pairing on and off the field. Seems a common theme in Wigan. Sammy is over on that far side. A great take and a good dive. And CSSC London have their scoreline reduced to only one point. 20 seconds to go until the half time interval. You'll hear that familiar sound of that Dummy. klaxon. <laughs> Dummy, are we going to get a dive this time too? Are we? Yes. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Both in one set. <laughs> That familiar dive, and there goes the Hooter just before the break. And it was.
Southgate just on the line, diving forward. And there goes the half-time klaxon. And it's CSSC London who lead at the break. It's been a compelling match after the opening five minutes where we only saw two scores. But don't go anywhere. The second half is set to be a cracker. If anything, it's probably more of an honour for me because of the talent pool. Um, we've gone from kind of playing on uh, parks and, uh, to, to playing in decent venues up and down the country and being able to come out to some amazing venues across the world. Uh, so, yeah, it's, pulling on the English is fantastic and, and you're just happy to still be here after this amount of time. Well, there's loads and loads that have changed. Um, the, the sheer numbers of the, the players out there now, we've got an incredibly good base. Um, the conditioning is uh, a huge difference. Um, everybody now in this sort of heat, with this sort of pace, is feeling comfortable. Um, everybody's out there eating the vegetables. They've uh, nutrition. We've just become a far more uh, professional side um, across every age group. My first England cap was eight years ago at the World Cup in Edinburgh, 2011. So to get my 50th cap here, eight years later in Malaysia, is something really, really special. It's become so much more professional. Uh, the training program, the elite performance program that we've uh, implemented has just been amazing. Yeah, so it's um, an incredible journey. Sadly, my family aren't here with me in Malaysia, but they're watching at home on YouTube, which is just brilliant. Um, but they're all watching, they're all following. Yeah, I couldn't have done it actually without the support from home. Got two small children. My husband's had to put up with a lot. A uh, lot of training weekends. A lot of me disappearing for morning runs and late evening runs and fighting for who's going to go train today. But yeah, it's just been amazing support I've had. So yeah, I wouldn't be here without them. Sorry, this is all about her. This is about her. <laughs> <laughs> A 50th cap. Uh, show us your medal first off. Third place. I played some Euros and then first World Cup with Hibiba Shocker. Um, this is my third World Cup, so it's nice to get. I got a bronze last time, but this one means so much more. To see a bunch of girls here. They're amazing. <laughs> Couldn't be with a better team. <laughs> you can make me cry now. <laughs> uh, women's touch is getting really, really strong, actually. We are building with the youth and going through. Um, and we've just been saying that it's filtering in really nicely now, so lots of the open girls will probably be eligible for 27s next time and 35s, and we'll filter through that way. So we're getting stronger and stronger by going from youth all the way up. So welcome back to Manchester. This is round two of the Belief Elite National Touch Series. In our second game of the day, CSSC London taking on the Wigan Warriors. And here's the Londoners who lead at the break. In what was, it just exploded into life after the, about the sixth minute. It was yeah, very really close. Yeah, slow start. I don't know if that's a, a thing with most NTS weekends. We had a slow start to our game. Two, three, but it's, yeah, it's come to life now and we're end to end. Score, dive, dummy, <laughs> whatever you want. We've had all of it. <laughs> yep. Diving and dummy. So when are we going to get you on the field? Get you out this well um, van. <laughs> it's it's our it's sort of our little studio yeah. here built in uh, into Manchester. We're just talking off there, just sort of about the game itself. Mm. And what what's probably the best way of, sort of getting involved? Would you say, Hannah? It's really easy to get involved. There's actually, especially if you are in England, there's loads and loads of touch clubs. And um, you just go onto the England Touch website and you can there's a drop down where you can play, and there will be one in your area. Um, and that's for me the best thing about touch is everyone is so welcoming. You go down and. You're making a new bunch of friends straight away. Um, it's good fun, really good for your fitness. Um, yeah, all you need is a pair of boots. <laughs> it's just <laughs> and a, you're good to go. It just feels like a great community. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's brilliant. Everyone yeah. sort of knows each other, gets on with everyone. It's just yeah. a, a great vibe in general. Yeah, and, and between teams as well, you can be really good friends. And, you know, it's competitive on the field. But as soon as you step off, everyone's everyone's best pals. It yeah. makes for a great night out. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly does. Well, Manchester, yeah. it's, a, it's a great city. I know. To be in. Just got to be careful with games tomorrow. Too, <laughs> of <then>. course, yeah. <laughs> well, compared to other sports, <laughs> it's a bit of an earlier finish. It only finished last game here in Manchester is 20 to 5, so we'll be finishing up around about half five yep. today. Yep, plenty of the evening. <laughs> <your> team <laughs> team socialising activities. And 
we are underway. That's the familiar sound of the klaxon, which you'll hear throughout the day as we get this second half back underway. And CSSC London involved straight from the off, looking to go through the centre and looking to try and get a try in 20 seconds. On this occasion, they still have possession and looking to try and get a three-point gap. And we yeah, I remember talking in Banbury about the importance of those minutes just before and after that half time. It can really decide potentially yeah. where this game will be going. Yeah, it can change the pace of the game as well. If you get a score just before half time, you go in half time with confidence, you come back out. Or likewise, if you just as soon as the hooter goes, you can score in that first set. It makes a huge difference to the, to the game. So. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think it's a win or lose scenario, but I think it does make a huge difference to, more than anything, confidence. Yeah, it certainly does. It was one thing that was a huge topic of discussion in Banbury and just getting the thoughts of all the different players mm. from the different sides, and they were just saying that that period just before and after is so crucial. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Games can be won and lost in the last five, especially when it's this tight. Certainly, yeah. It's only a two-point gap at the moment. See, SSC London looking to come forward once again over the... 10 meter looking to try and break forward through the middle. And it's Colin Scott who's involved, and now with Henry Stratford who's in the thick of things in the first half. Oh, that is another round of brilliant feet there from CSSC. And they add another one to that score line, and it was that dancing feet of Henry Stratford once again <laughs> looking to just burst forward. And it's a good start. Yeah, good start for CSSC. Gap now three, isn't it? It certainly is. 8 5 yep. on the scoreboard. And again, just that first try after the second half. And now, a lot of work now for Wigan to make up. And looking to get things. Looking to try and make amends now. Price involved with Pennington. Here's Price. And Melling. Pennington now looking to go over to that far side and just couldn't latch onto it and it's those wingers are just so important just timing your run it's just it's just a crucial part of the game isn't yeah it? absolutely especially if teams are defending tight you just need someone out there who can catch it and put the put the ball down every time and um, key make or break especially of a mixed game just like that and there we go and stake at the back and now this is a you feel like this is a really important moment now for Wigan if they can just get a try here and get themselves back into this yeah narrow the gap to two would make a big difference here um, See, see what happens. They've got again a lot of experience on the field. Gabe and Jordan working together here. Yeah, Melling and Pennington. Pennington just looking to go forward to then back. Pennington gets it. Uh, looking to try and just get through that tight gap of Hall and Dyer. Mm -hmm. They do well just to stop that run. And this is a period of the game which, if you're not familiar with, with touch, it's just that slow pace where then suddenly you can just die forward. Pennington looking to try and do exactly that. Yeah, two penalties on the line. CSSC needs to be careful here. So you could end up with a player player off for the next set, D, which is obviously detrimental when there's only six on the field anyway. But exactly, yeah, the space really does open then if that does come about. <laughs> Just a few little dummy passes from Pennington. Uh, gets it back really slowing things down and looking to just wait for the perfect opportunity look to go right then opted to go left and here's Melling looking to try and drive through but a crucial touch for Andrew Dyer and then gets it back though and now in the middle with Pennington Melling gets it back Pennington now diving forward touch was in very good D from here from CSSC to defend this many sets on the line it's not easy it just seems Wigan seem to be struggling to penetrate this uh, this defensive line here. How demoralising is it when you just you you feel like you've had possession of the ball for so long and you just can't. You can't for get example, through. Yeah. Here we go, and then the, now the turnover possession. It must be so frustrating. Yeah, I think it's difficult. You think where is that gap? It must be somewhere, but you just can't seem to find it. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep hitting, and then for someone who just seems to run run through the middle. Yeah, they've just been so tight at the back see yeah. SSC London those last couple of minutes and now that's in a possession they're just eating up the yards now and yeah. looking to come forward through the middle and now oh, could there be opportunity to be there oh, oh it's brilliant play and Wigan will be so disappointed to be done in Another the middle one down yeah the space just opened up and it's 
And now it's, the gap is now opening to four points. And CSSC London are well on their way. Yeah, another slow start to the second half. So that's five minutes in and we're not far where we were from half time. But hopefully we see another lively second half of the second half. Last quarter, I guess you could <laughs> say. <laughs> yeah, just under 15 to go. And ben Meeking just, again, just looking for an option, trying to break through. Another crucial touch. Last time it was from Henry Stratford as Ben Meeking was looking to go through. Meeking picks it up from Taylor. Looking to find Price, looking to go forward. Yeah, and you've got someone in, in quite a big gap there on his other side. I wonder if they'll try and exploit that this time. Price, a simple layoff. So Taylor now Meekin Taylor with Meekin again. Little dummy, little shimmy, looking to try and get through. Oh, and a turnover possession. And once again, CSSC London defending really well. Yeah, they are. They just seem to be covering all bases here. And now just building up, and every time they've got the balls, they just seem to be making up the yard so easily. Yeah, busting through the middle on their subbing and their driving, which is great to see. Oh, a fumble there. Oh, yeah. Mistake is CSSC London looking to come through and yeah, turnover possession now with Wigan and Ben Meeking can he rally his troops to come forward. Here's Price laying it off. Roberts gets it back and now in the middle. Now with Penningson, this is a bit better a great from Wigan. Run for Pennington there. Melling looking to switch over to that far side. That is a Lovely. really well worked try. Alice caught that perfectly there, just Wait, running onto the ball, crossing the line at just the right time. Yeah, superb pass from Melling, and like you said, Hobson just timing her run to absolute perfection and picking it up, almost just watching the ball into her hands and putting it down. Uh, that's a really important try for Wigan. And has been reduced. Could this be the start of the comeback? It would be, uh, be a great start to this uh, this weekend if we're going to have a comeback. Although, I'm sure, CSSC London will look to try and create that four point gap once again. And here they come, looking to go through the middle. Stratford once again looking to switch over to that far side. And just stops at the line. Oh. Quick off the mark, and Wigan get the turnover possession. Yes, there's been a lot of debate this, this last few weeks about the, the ruling on when defence can move, um, whether you have to wait for the half hands to be on the ball once it's rolled or whether you can go once it's rolled. So it's interesting to see how it's going to affect the game. Oh, and George has gone straight through. And Price adds another one to the scoreboard, and suddenly this gap is getting reduced, and that was a brilliant run by George Price just going to his left and comeback continues through. well are we gonna see this comeback we were hinting at it just a minute ago and now the is reduced to only two so the set is really important for Wigan to defend this out and get another score on the board if they want to come come back and take this game so it will be Tom Hall looking to try and burst forward looking for that corner Price touches him. Five meter line. Gets it back. Looking to go through. And another good touch from George Price. The Hall and Price show at the moment. <laughs> pace for pace. <laughs> A nice little layoff. Looking to go for that corner. He's like a sore dive. <laughs> so he did. It's soft underfoot. He saw the dive on and in the middle now. Looking to try and break forward. His hole once again. Kai was just on the wing there, but the touch came and with just over 10 minutes to go, the turnover possession and now. Oh, I think that's harsh. He was trying to throw it back to his player. <laughs> the back turned down. That's a big advantage for Wigan here, getting the extra few yards on that turnover. So it is. Yeah, this could be an important passage of play. Can Wigan reduce the deficit to only one after being four down? And here comes Gabriel Pennington. 
in the centre. Pointing right, and now of Melling. Switching over to that far side. Oh, just couldn't grab it at the critical moment. And lucky there, right option there from, from Melling there to throw that, throw that long ball. Yeah, Joanna Egerton just on that far side. And Ceci London looking to build once again. I'm sure they'd love to add another one to restore a three point lead, although now a turnover. and Great opportunity here for Wigan. Let's see what we can do. Certainly is. Pennington just making up a few yards. And they need to be clinical now to Wigan. Pennington looking to find Ben Meekin, skips to his left and dives forward. It's a good touch there from CSSC, a very experienced trio on the field here. They should be able to produce something pretty special. And see CSSC London have been tight defensively in this second half, and not let much get past them. Meekin looking to go forward, oh, and just Pennington just getting in the way. He looked to pass for him, right to left. A debate with the referee. And it is with BBR Melling. <laughs> I'll give you. I'll give you that off. It's the same colour of kit, black and red. <laughs> awesome, but yeah, but it's the, that colour is just tripping me out. <laughs> and it's Wigan now, of course, in possession. That's a oh, no, it is a there. CSSC London still in possession. And they're in half, they tap and go, and off the over halfway. Looking to halfway, I should say. And now, with that man, Henry Stratford, looked to try to go to his left, although just lays it off. And now they come over the 10 metre, looking to go for the more central route, just building it up nicely. Just stopped just before the line. And Having to slow things down once again, Tom Hall. Picks it again, nice little layoff. Man on. Oh. Just slowing things down. And oh, the fumble there, and now it's back over. In possession of Wigan, and now you just feel like these chances they need to be taken. Yeah, from both teams, I think as well. CSSC have thrown a couple away here the last few sets. Hope they pick up, get some more scores before the end of the game from both teams. And Jones in the thick of things with Miller. Jones picks it up again. Simple layoff to Price. He's looking to go left, or looks to go through the centre. Finds the over to that far side. Dive from Edgerton. Just not quite, but still with Wigan. Ben Meeking, looks to go through the middle. Intercepting the pass. It's another six. This is really important for Wigan here. Six minutes to go, nearly. Another score on the board. Keep this comeback on the go. Meeking and Taylor linking up in the middle of a few short passes. Meeking just brings it back and slows down the play. Price to the left, Hobson to the right, so Vemekin looks to go himself, just lays it off to Roberts. That is a very good defence there from CSSC, just in the right place. Let's see, SSC London have been so tight defensively, and Roberts looking to try and go through Roberts. Oh. Very clever play there from Meekin and Bobby. Unbelievable play, just quick reactions, and was just what they needed, Wigan. Um, I, I, think, I don't think I've ever seen anyone hold the ball that close to the line before. <laughs> Absolutely sensational big stuff. Risk, big reward. <laughs> it certainly is, and now it, we've got a game on our hands. Point deficit, and Wigan looking to try and get back into this after being four points down. Yeah, if Wigan can defend CSSC out here, this, this game is looking very different to five minutes ago. Yeah, to go through. Stratford laying it off. 
And he gets it again, looking to dive forward. Very good D there from Alice, making that touch, flying in from Link. There's Nicholas Southgate just diving forward at the line, and he gets it back. Short, quick passing, almost toying with Price. And look, he's trying to go forward, Southgate. And this time it's... Another set of six on the line. It's dangerous here for Wigan. It's hard work in D. Just under five minutes to go. And I'm sure the London side would love to get that two-point gap restored. Colin Scott with Southgate. Those two just linking up with some short passes in the middle. Which way is it going? It's quick. Now slow down. This is the experienced play coming in and firing it over to that far side, looking to try and break through. And he has done what a line. Came out of nowhere there. It was Henry Stratford coming through and they bided their time. And now that two point cushion has been restored. And now Wigan have it all to do once again. Only three minutes left in our clock. Of course, we'll wait for that Claxon. Ben Meakin just laying off to Robinson and now Price picking it up on the loose ball oh, and diving dive. forward. Lovely from George. Spots the gap and goes for it. Certainly did. And now we're back once again to that one point gap. And it was George Price who just diving forward. And we've got a game on our hands in the closing stages of the second half. It's funny that the first five minutes of each game, or of each half, sorry, has been really slow from both teams, and then they just seem to pick it up. I think, right, let's get our act together, <laughs> let's go here. Yeah, just got almost win. feeling their way into the game, aren't yeah. they? And then now coming forward, oh, just a slip there from Price. Could they have got their way in? They're still with possession, looking to go through the middle. And is this where the experience really has to kick in now with just over two minutes to go, one point lead. Yeah, this is real pressure point. Um, and you've got to, got to be able to hold your heads together. And not do anything panicky and not chuck the ball away. Just keep possession and keep playing your game plan because it's been working up to now, so <laughs> don't, don't lose that. Yeah, picking it up and in the middle now with Roberts. And now Pennington. Melling is there, picks it, scoops the ball up with his right hand, looking towards his near side. Slim possession, quick. Still alive here, great from Wigan, really good handling. Absolutely, and look at this quick, decisive play. Pennington laying, oh, oh just no. the fumble. That could have been unbelievable. We saw a fantastic try in the opening game. Just sort of a similar build-up, and that would have been equally as great. Yeah, it's good handling there from Jen on the wing to keep that alive. It's really, really good there. And just a shame you couldn't, couldn't finish it off. So just over a minute to go. And see SSC London still with that one-point lead. Try and get forward, although... It's a real opportunity for Wigan here. One minute left to go, roughly, on the clock. Roberts. And now with Pennington. This could be crucial. Melling coming forward, looking to go left. Wing was wide open there. The opportunity went missing. That's what he did. Melling laying it off, looking to yeah. dive forward. Yeah. Have they got it? Oh, we're all tied they up. They certainly do. It's ten apiece. Unbelievable. What a way to go into the last score, last play of the game. Absolutely astonishing stuff. We have seconds to go. That is the comeback. We are now even. <laughs> <laughs> what a game. What a start to this How will weekend. will this game be won? Dummy or dive? Or could we have both? Bets on both. <laughs> yeah, another both in one set. Here we go. Unbelievable stuff. And here they come. There goes the hooter. 
Can they work their way through? This What's would be unbelievable! Oh! oh, absolutely. We thought it was nearly there. What a game. I thought it was three. <laughs> that was absolutely astonishing stuff. It was Henry Stratford right at the end who looked like he'd just sneak through, but that critical touch. Well, let's just catch a breath. What wow. a game. <laughs> what an end. I think my heart's faster than it was the whole <laughs> way throughout that first game. <laughs>